Hello, welcome to Qigong. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Let's get started. So let's just get into our Qigong stance. Feet are about hip width apart. Begin breathing in through nose, exhaling out your mouth. Dropping into your body, maybe wrap, rock back and forth on your feet, feeling the edges of your toes, your heels, and settling into a nice centered position. Knees are slightly bent, soft knees, and the tailbone is dropped. So just drop your tailbone down, tucking it slightly as if there's a weight hanging from your tailbone. <sighs> Opening up the groin, relaxing in through the groin, feeling the strengths in your, in your legs. Vertebrae is stacked one on top of the other, pulling up through the crown of the head. Chin is slightly tucked, and the shoulders are nice and relaxed. Close your eyes and just take a moment, breathing in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth, dropping your breath into your belly, into your lower dantian, your sea of chi. Dropping away your stories and just taking a moment to begin to come into the present moment. Using your breath as a guide And just invite a smile into your practice today. You're going to soften the eyes, smiling into your face, relaxing the muscles around your mouth. Coming into your practice today with kindness, Letting all the stories begin to fall away, melting down your body into the earth. Let's just begin with a few simple arm swings today. If you want to keep your eyes closed, you can do that, or a slightly open, soft gaze into the room. And just a gentle swinging, letting go of effort. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the upper back. In this first part of our practice today, we're doing our clearing exercises. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. And when you're ready, just Allow the arms to swing to a close, gently coming to a stillness and closing the eyes. Take a moment to just notice the sensations of your body, dropping the mind into your body. And then our second arm swing, we'll just twist at the waist. Leave the arms ragged all around, slightly tapping the lower back. Feeling this nice massage of your internal organs, your rib cage squeezing, liver squeezing your spleen and stomach, giving it a nice morning massage or afternoon massage or evening massage, whatever time of the day that brings you to this Qigong today. Softening and bouncing in the body. And then gently let this come to a close, closing the eyes. Take another moment to just notice the sensations of the body. Noticing the sensations that arise from this simple movement, this simple practice, smiling into your body. And bringing the arms out to the side, we're going to drop one arm in front and one arm behind. A gentle bouncing in the knees, soft knees, soft ankles. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. And 
And when you're ready, just allow the arms to fall into the side of the body. Again, taking a moment, maybe closing your eyes, just to tune into the sensations of the body. Begin to notice and observe. And meeting whatever you find arises with kindness, greeting it with a smile. In our final arm swing, we're gonna twist the body again, this time allowing the arm one arm to swing up and tap the shoulder at gallbladder 20 and swing around and tap the lower back. So waking up the kidneys, activating the gallbladder meridian. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. And then slowly letting this come to a close. Again, just taking a moment here for observation, just to rest in the sensations of the practice and to begin to, or continuing to drop into the body. Grounding down through the feet, pulling up through the crown of the head. Knees are bent, tailbone is relaxed and dropped, activating your legs, strengthen your legs. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. And on your next inhale, let's drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, looking up, so we continue to warm up the body, simple movements. As we warming up the joints in the body, inhale and exhale, allowing the breath to buoy the movement. So the movement of the body follows the breath. And looking over the shoulder, right to left, inhale and exhale. Breathe into your neck and greet your neck with kindness today, smiling into the neck as we warm up this joint. And then bringing the ears to the shoulders, inhaling to the side of the neck, exhale to center and inhale to the other side. Let's drop the head now to the chest. We'll begin circling the neck around. Inhale up one side, exhale down the other side. And if you have any issues with your neck, old injuries, or anything that's going on with your neck, you can use the fingers at the back of the neck to support this movement. Inhale and exhale, smiling into your neck. And reverse that circle when you're ready. And coming back to center, feeling good in your neck. Let's now roll the shoulders. Inhale as you roll them forward and up. Exhale back and down, opening up your wings. So feeling this movement all the way into your scapula, your upper back, your chest. Feeling this massaging your lungs. Smiling into your shoulders and your upper torso as we breathe into this movement. And reverse that circle when you're ready. And then just dropping the shoulders. We're gonna do three staccato breaths. So as we breathe in with short inhalations through the nose and exhale out the mouth, we'll bring the shoulders up to the ears with the inhale. So it'll look like this. And then exhale. Drop the shoulders. Let's do three staccato breaths together. Inhale. Two. And three. 
head, just shaking out the shoulders a little bit. Letting that go, shaking out the arms. Let's come down to the wrists, circling the wrists. Inhaling our breath, our attention into our wrists and hands. Smiling into our wrists and hands as we continue to warm up the body. And reverse that circle when you're ready. Just gentle movements, releasing the synovial fluid in the joints like oil in your car, you just need to do a little bit of warming up so that everything is fluid. And then let's open and close the hands as we inhale up above the head, exhale down to the sides. Let's do that a few times, inhale up and exhale. Let's take three more breaths here. Right, and coming down to the hips, let's just keeping those uh, knees slightly bent. We're gonna do some pelvic, pelvic tilts. So inhale, tilting the pelvis forward, exhale, tilting it back. And seeing if it can swing like a pendulum. So really using the strength in your legs to support the body and allowing the whole pelvic bowl to relax. Inhale as you swing forward, exhale back. And then we'll begin small circles with the hips, inhaling and exhaling. Really beginning to see if you can connect that breath to the movement. Allowing the breath to lead the movement, and lead the body. And reverse that circle. These smaller circles, really bending the knees to allow the movement in the hips. And then we're gonna take bigger circles around, getting to all the edges of the outer thigh. And then reverse that circle when you're ready. Inhale and exhale. Smiling into your hips and your lower back, waking up this part of your body with awareness and breath, with movement. And then coming back to center, knees are still bent and we're gonna do our spinal breathing to continue to warm up the back. So inhale, opening up the chest and the arms, looking to the ceiling, exhale, we're going to round the back and curl in, exhaling, inhale, open up. Then exhale and release and rounding. So this is a lot like the cat-cow pose in yoga, except for you're standing up. Lengthening through the spine as you do this. So feeling the crown of the head, crown of the head still pulling up and the tailbone still weighted down. So you're really finding the length in the spine. And you can even visualize your spinal cord begin to breathe with you. So see it opening and inhaling fresh energy and chi, exhaling and releasing anything that no longer serves you that may be in the stuck in the spine all the way from the tailbone up into the crown of the head. You can see anything leaving the spine, visualizing it as a gray smoke falling to the earth. Let's take three more spinal breaths together. And coming back to center, allowing the 
hands to drop. Just go ahead and shake out the body a little bit, shake out the shoulders. And we're going to continue to warm up the body. Let's bring our hands together and create some heat. Inhaling into the hands, thinking of all the good possibilities that could happen today. Let's bring that warmth and energy just to the lower back, massaging the lower back and kidneys, and massaging the sacrum and the tops of the hips into the glutes. And with a loose fist, we'll just pound the lower back, just tapping it, waking things up, waking up the glutes. Inhaling into this area of the body, exhaling, releasing. And then massaging once again. And then let's bring the hands all the way down the back of the legs. And massaging up the front of the legs. Coming down the sides of the legs. Up the insides of the legs. Let's do that one more time down the back. Up the front sides, and the inside. And we're going to step out with the right foot. And again, creating some nice warmth and heat into the hands, smiling into the hands. Let's bring that to your knees, give them a nice massage. Front and back of the knees. Just greeting your knees with kindness this morning. And let's do a little bit of tapping, slapping of the knees. And a little bit of massage. And stepping back, we're going to step up the left knee and do the same thing. Massage the knee. And some tapping. And then stepping back. And hands on the hips. Knees slightly bent, finding your balance. If you need to use a wall or a chair for balance, you're welcome to do that. We're going to point and flex the right foot. Inhaling your attention, your breath, your smiling energy down into the foot and the ankle. And let's roll the ankle one direction, rolling in the other direction. And shake it out. Stepping back to center, let's point and flex the left foot. And rolling. Circling the ankle one direction, circling in the other direction. Shake it out. Come back to center and let's step again to the left side and bicycle the right leg. So again, if you need to use a chair or wall for balance, please feel free to do that. And always take care of yourself. Listen to where your body is at today and then stepping back we're going to bicycle the left leg, feeling that nice warmth and movement in the hips, the knee, the ankle, bringing all the leg together in movement. And we're going to step back to center again, feeling nice and warmed up in the body. We're going to bring the hands together again, giving it that heat and warmth, smiling into your hands, thinking of all the good possibilities that could happen today. And let's lean the warmth of those hands. Let's lean your eyes into that. So covering the eyes, feeling this goodness, bathing the eyes. And when you're ready, begin to massage the face, around the eyes, the cheeks, the ears, the jaw. And taking your fingertips, let's drag them across the scalp, all the way down into the neck. Waking up the brain. Then massaging down the neck a little bit, the shoulders. And heading down the front of the throat, the chest. And down the chest. And circling around the belly. And letting the hands rest here in the lower dantian, just take another moment to notice the sensations of the body. Breathing in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. And 
And we'll begin our rattling the bones practice. So just a little bouncing and shaking. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. One of my favorite letting go Qigong practices, detox practices. Sometimes it's called shaking the tree, rattling the bones. Ah, this is a good time in your practice if you need to do any sounding, just releasing anything in the body that no longer serves you, any tension you may find, using your breath, your awareness, bringing your breath and awareness to any part of the body that you feel any tension that needs to be let go. You can even visualize it leaving the body in little puffs of gray smoke. And smiling into this practice today. Ah, it feels good to let go of the seriousness that we've been surrounded with momentarily, just to be playful, have fun. Ah, enjoy this moment. Rattling the bones. And then just gently letting that come to a close, just bouncing to stillness. Close your eyes and just take a moment to notice the sensations of the practice. And inhaling the hands above the head, gathering the fresh chi of the heavens, gathering it above the head. And then exhale, we're gonna wash down the body with our hands, our attention, our energy. If you need to take an inhale, you just stop, inhale, and continue washing down the body, all the way down through the feet, out into the earth. Inhale up, gathering the fresh chi of the heavens, washing down the body. Say where your mind and your breath goes, the chi follows. So if there is a place that feels stuck, just bring your awareness and your breath here. And help it to move down the legs, out the feet, and into the earth. Let's take three more cleansing breaths here on your own. And on your third breath, we'll end with our hands resting on our lower Dantian, which is just a couple of inches below the belly button. Resting here on your sea of chi, just noticing the sensations of your warming up practice, your cleansing practice. And we're gonna move now into our six healing sounds. So if you need to shake out the body, shake out the legs, okay, coming back into our Qigong stance after shaking out. Feet are hip width apart, knees are soft, pelvic bowls relaxed, vertebrae stacked one on top of the other, pulling through the crown of the head. And we'll begin with our 10 ping chis. So we'll inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, ready? And one more, and we'll roll the shoulders. And bringing our hands up to our lungs, we'll also bring our attention and awareness into your lungs. So you can close the eyes and look into the lungs, see what your lungs look like and know where they're located in your body. Greet your lungs this morning with a smile, greet them with kindness. And the lungs are associated with the metal element, the season is autumn and we're moving from the emotional range, from sadness and grief, opening into courageousness. 
with this metal element, there is a healing color, which is pearly white, like the luminescent moon. So I want you to just begin to visualize a mist of healing white light in front of your face. And on your next inhalation, deeply breathe this white light into your lungs, filling the organ with white light. Seeing it illuminate from the inside out down to the very cellular level with healing white light, exhaling and releasing sadness and grief, opening to courage. And the healing sound for the lungs is sia, and we're going to say it with a movement and say it in a burst-like sound, so sia. And the movement, we pull in through the lungs and we exhale out and push out. So let's do that three times together. Sia, sia, sia. Three ping cheese. And roll the shoulders. And hands coming back up to the lungs, seeing your pearly white lungs, smiling into your lungs. Filled with courage, exhaling sadness and grief. Seeing your beautiful white lungs smiling with you and feel them physically relax, release, and let go. Smiling into your lungs. Let's say goodbye to your lungs today. And moving in the creation cycle, in the Chinese medicine creation cycle, we move from metal to water. So bringing the hands and the awareness around to your kidneys, which are just below the bottom of your rib cage. So as far as your hands can reach up in that direction, that's comfortable and safe for you. And close your eyes and say hello to your kidneys. Greeting your kidneys with kindness today. Your kidneys are about the size of your ears. And your kidneys are associated with the season of winter. The element is water and the color is a dark blue, indigo blue. Moving from an emotional range of attachment and fear and opening into a calm wisdom. So I want you to picture a mist of healing blue light in front of your face and on your next inhale, breathe that blue light deep into the organ of your kidneys, feeling them fill up with this luminescent blue light. Feeling them, filling it up from very cellular levels, so illuminating from the inside out, exhaling and releasing any fear or attachment that no longer serves you that may be in your kidneys today, falling to the earth like a gray smoke, and smiling into your kidneys. And the healing sound for the kidneys is chue, and the movement will rub the kidneys, warming the kidneys, and then we come around, chue. So let's do that three times. Chue, 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 and three pink cheese. Rolling the shoulders, hands coming back to the kidneys, smiling into your beautiful blue kidneys, releasing fear and attachment, opening to calm wisdom. See your kidneys smiling with you today and feel your kidneys physically release, relax, and let go. Saying goodbye to your beautiful blue kidneys. We'll move in the creation cycle from the water element to the wood element. So bringing the hands around to the right side of the rib cage. And closing your eyes, just take a moment to greet your liver this today. Seeing what your liver looks like, knowing where it is in your body, one of the largest organs in the body, the liver. And the liver is associated with the season of springs. So we're in the liver time right now. The color is green. The element is wood. And the emotional range, we move from anger and frustration into kindness and generosity. So I want you to picture a beautiful healing green light, a mist of green light in front of your face. And on the next inhalation, deeply inhale this green light into your liver, filling up your organ with beautiful green light, illuminating it from the inside out down to the very cellular level. Exhale and release. 
frustration, anger, any feeling of stuckness, opening to movement, opening to kindness and generosity. And the healing sound for the liver is sure, somewhere in that range, sure. And the movement, we have the palm or the backs of the hands together. We cross them in a circle and then we bend down, pressing the elbows into the torso as we say, sure. So let's do that three times together. Inhale. Sure. 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 Three pink cheese. Circle the, our, our the shoulders. Rolling the shoulders. Bringing the attention and awareness in your hands back to the liver. Closing the eyes. Smiling into your liver. Your beautiful green liver as it's releasing and let going of frustration and anger. Opening to kindness and generosity. Smiling into your liver. See your liver smiling with you and feel it physically release, relax, and let go. And saying goodbye to your beautiful green liver. Let's move from the liver, from the wood element in the creation cycle to fire. So bringing our hands, oh, did I do our three pink cheese? I think I did. <laughs> all right, it's hard to tell when you're doing this to an empty room, but I know you all are out there. All right, so moving from the liver element, uh, moving from the wood element to the fire element, bring the hands up to the heart. And let's check in with your heart this morning. So closing the eyes, smiling into your beautiful, tender heart. See where your heart is located in your body, picturing it and feeling where it's located in the body. And the heart is associated with the season of summer. The element is fire and the color is red. Moving in an emotional range from hatred and bitterness, opening to love and joy. So I would like you to picture a beautiful healing red light, a mist of red light in front of your face. And on your next inhalation, deeply inhale this into your heart, filling up the organ with illuminating red light. Exhale and release hatred or bitterness, opening to love and joy. Smiling into your beautiful red heart. The healing sound for the heart is ha or ho. And the movement is we inhale, bending down, we exhale, and release up with the sounds. So let's do that three times together. Inhale, ha, ha. Ha! Three pink cheese. Roll the shoulders. And bring the hands back up to the heart. Smiling into your beautiful red heart today. Feeling it releasing any hatred or bitterness that may no longer serve you. Falling to the earth like a gray smoke. Opening to love and joy. See your heart smiling with you and feel good in your heart today. Feel it physically release and relax and let go. I'm saying goodbye to your beautiful red heart. We're moving the creation cycle from fire to earth. So bringing the hands around to the left side of the rib cage and greeting your spleen and stomach this morning. So closing the eyes, let's begin to picture where the spleen and stomach are in the body. Begin to know what yours look like, even if you don't actually know what they look like. Just begin to form a relationship with them. What's coming to your mind, connecting to your spleen and stomach. And the color for the spleen and stomach is a golden yellow. The season is summer. Sorry, the season is late summer, so it's uh, harvest time. And we're moving in the emotional range from worry and anxiety, overthinking, and opening to trust, the earth element. 
So I'd like you to picture a healing golden yellow light, a mist of healing golden yellow light in front of your face. And on your next inhalation, deeply inhale this golden light into your spleen and stomach, filling it from the inside out, Exhaling and releasing any worry, anxiety, overthinking, allowing it to fall to the earth like a gray smoke. Smiling into your beautiful golden yellow spleen and stomach. And the healing sound for the spleen and stomach is who. And we'll just do this movement once. The hands begin here at the waist. And as we inhale, the left hand goes down, the right hand comes up, we turn, exhale, and then we inhale and hold this for 10, and we say who as we come back to center. So let's start with our hands here at our waist. Inhale, turn, exhale, inhale again, and hold for 10. Who? three pink cheese. Rolling the shoulders. And let's bring our attention, our awareness, and our hands back to the spleen and stomach. Beautiful golden yellow spleen and stomach. Smiling with this healing energy. Feeling your spleen and stomach smiling with you. Feeling good in your spleen and stomach as it releases and relaxes and lets go. Saying goodbye to the spleen and stomach. We're gonna do one final movement and sound as we inhale up and exhale. We're gonna say ha as we softly undulate the body, bringing the triple burner sound into effect here. Ha. Ha. Connecting the upper, the middle, and the lower burner. Ha. Seeing all of your rainbow of colors swirling around in your torso, connecting the lung, the kidney, the liver. Ha. The heart, the spleen and stomach. All of these colors swirling around a rainbow of healing light. Feel this circulating down into your toes. Ah, circulating down your arms and your fingers. Ah, up into your head, down your spine. Until your whole body is illuminated with this rainbow of light. And exhale, bringing the hands down, resting on their dantian. Feeling this rainbow of healing energy enlivened with your smile, with your kindness, with your breath, with your compassion, with your movement, circulating down through your entire body into your bones, your skin, your muscles, your sinew, your tendons, your blood, your organs, your sense organs. And smiling into your body, feel your whole body smiling with you. And releasing the hands, ending our six healing sounds, our inner smile six healing sounds practice, shaking out the body a bit. And we're going to come back to center, finding our stance again. We're going to begin our 18 movements practice. If you need to get a drink of water, now is a really good time and just pre press pause and come back. And then we'll find our Qigong stance. Feet are hip width apart, pelvic bowl is relaxed. Vertebrae is stacked one on top of the other, pulling up through the crown of the head. Shoulders relaxed, rolled back and relaxed. A little space in between the armpit, or in the armpit, so that your arms are just floating um, above the body. And grounding down through your feet, through your kidney one point, your bubbling spring, Grounding down through your dragon's tail to your tailbone, growing down through the earth, pulling up through the crown of the head like a string of light, growing up to the North Star, and smiling into your practice today. You are the perfect bridge between heaven and earth, a conduit of energy. 
And we'll begin our 18 movements as we inhale, hands float up, exhale, palms float down, waving hands by the lake. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the nose as we move into our cultivating and circulating practice. Allowing the breath to guide the movement. On your next inhalation, opening the heart at the top of the mountain, arms come wide. Exhale, palms together and floating down. Softening effort, letting go of any trying, really allowing yourself to float in that present moment as if you're moving through honey. On your next inhalation, bringing the hands above the head, palms face the ceiling. Exhale, looking to one palm, inhale up, passing the rainbow to the other palm, swinging the rainbow. Inhale and exhale. Soft knees, strong legs. On your next exhalation, bringing the hands down, crossing them at the knees, up as you inhale, parting the clouds. Exhale, knees bend, strong legs so your lower back is protected, and exhale, floating down. On your next exhalation, hands gently float down to the waist. One hand comes behind, palm pushes forward as the other palm faces up. And you exchange the breath with the hand. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, pulling back. Exhale, pushing forward. This is a lot like the crawl stroke in swimming. Nice gentle twist in the spine.
the silk floating on air. And exhaling, coming to center, hands then reach up behind and scooping forward, we row across the big lake, exhale forward, inhale back and up. Feeling a nice soft undulation in the spine, rolling up the spine as you come up, starting at the feet and rolling up through the legs, up through the spine and exhale, coming forward, protecting your lower back by being strong in your legs, rowing across the big lake. Your hands floating down to center. And now we reach across the body, raising the sun. Exhale, inhale across the body as the heel comes up with that arm. And exhale, coming down, raising the sun. And on your next inhale, palms are going to face each other as you look over the shoulder. This time, the heels stay grounded, gazing at the moon. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, hands come down to waist, so loose fists. <clears throat> Inhale and then exhale, reaching forward, rustling the lotus flower. Inhale, pulling back. Exhale, reach forward. A slight twist at the waist. Feeling the power of your stance, grounded through the feet, knees are soft. Moving from your Dantian, your sea of chi. Hands coming back to your waist. One hand, palm floats in front of the face. The other hand stays at the waist as you exhale. Coming across, inhale as the hands exchange. And exhale, hands float like clouds. Allowing the gaze to be another tool to bring you into the present moment. And exhaling the hands back down to center. We're going to step forward to the right. 
Inhale, scooping the ocean. Exhale to look at the sky. So we bend down using the strength in our legs, our glutes, our quads, engaging as we bend down, scooping the ocean. Exhale, looking at the sky, leaning into the back leg. So we come forward and rocking back. Exhale, floating back to center. Inhale, step to the left. Scooping the ocean to look at the sky. Exhale, hands float back to center. Inhale, now we're going to push waves. So we push forward and then leaning back. Inhale, exhale, pushing forward. Seeing if you can soften the edges between your inhale and your exhale. Just as the ocean waves come up onto the shore and retreat back into the sea, there's no beginning or end. It's just a fluid motion, one into the other. Pushing out with that yang energy, flowing back into yin. And stepping back to center, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale, stepping to the other side, pushing waves. And inhale, exhale, step back to center. Inhale, pushing to the other side. We're going to exhale our forearms forward. Inhale back towards the heart, opening up and leaning back, and then exhale forward. And this is dove spreads its wings. Circling around, that energy comes towards the heart, down the heart meridians in the arm, and circling back. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale and exhale back to center and we'll go to the other side while dove spreads its wings. And we'll mindfully step back to center, allowing the arms to fall to the waist again. A loose fist. Inhale, exhale. This time, fist stays closed and the dragon emerges from the sea. Exhale forward. And there's no twisting in the spine here. Feeling solid and rooted and grounded in your legs. A nice sense of power in your stance. Connected to the earth. Moving from your sea of chi. Exhale, the hands come down. We're gonna do a full body movement here. Bending down, hands cross. Inhale, up. And you can get on your tippy toes if you can and want to. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And this is 
Uh, wild geese taking flight. Nice soft undulation in the spine. Floating back down to center. We'll do our windmill. Inhale up, exhale, circling around. Be mindful of your lower back, soft knees. And being careful that you don't get dizzy or feel ungrounded. If you do, just stop the movement, ground yourself. And reverse that circle when you're ready. Inhaling up. Exhale down and around. And hands floating back down to center. We're going to end our, or no, this is actually the second to the last movement. We're going to be doing our <clears throat> stepping and bouncing or walking on clouds. So we inhale opposite foot to hand, soft, soft knees, soft steps, as if you're moving through honey. Seeing how gently you can lift your leg, how gently you can place it on the earth. And exhaling back down to center, we're going to end our 18 movements with gathering the fragrance of the earth. We inhale up, exhale, reaching into the earth, pulling up the back of the spine, inhale up around the crown of the head, exhale, and placing this in your dantian. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, exhale, reaching into the earth. Pulling it up the back of the body, up the spine, round the crown of the head, down the front of the body, settling into your dantian. One more time. And settling here with our hands in our lower belly. Gently breathing into the hands, into the belly, noticing the goodness of your practice today, of your 18 movements. Feeling grounded through the earth and connected to the heavens through the crown of the head. Go ahead and circle the hands around the belly, sealing all this goodness into your sea of chi. And hands again resting on the lower belly. We'll bring the hands up to the heart. I want you to just go ahead and acknowledge that you made it here today to do this practice together. And give yourself some thanks. We're going to spread our hands a little wider. We're going to share our practice today with our loved ones, with our family, with our pets. Spread the hands a little bit wider. We're going to share this practice with our community, our friends, our common ground friends, with our co-workers. Spreading our hands a little bit wider. We're going to share this with our larger community of our city, our state, our nation with all humans connected in the world, with all sentient beings, with the animals, the plants, with the planet herself. Spreading the hands a little bit wider, we're going to share our practice today with the cosmos with which we are infinitely connected. And smiling into our hands today, sending this good smile, this good energy, this good chi into the universe, into, into the world. 
I'd like you to raise your left hand with an open palm, the right hand with a closed fist, the good sun and moon come together, yin and yang. When we bow to our practice today, we give thanks for all the teachers that came before us, and I thank you for joining me in practice today. And may you all be well and safe and good and home with your loved ones, or if you're alone, that you are connecting with good people through uh, this great connecting we can have through the internet and through media. So I'm so grateful that you came to be with us today and be well.